A lot of y'all don't deserve respect, if we're being completely honest. What is good with y'all today, man? It's Cole Brown Official, and today I will be talking about why every man should be working out. You know, in today's world, you hear no fat shaming. You know, we really trying to get in a world that's like super comfortable. And we already are comfortable the way it is, our beds, we have shelter, um, electricity, phones, cars, everything is about comfort nowadays. So you have to do stuff to get out your comfort zone. You have to practice delayed gratification. You have to start working out and see the results months down the road. Because the way you do this is the way you're gonna do everything. Get your fitness on point and it will trickle down into everything else. Trust and believe me, man. Because I would be a completely different person if I did not work out. It makes dating easier. And even when I meet a new person for the first time, it's like a, nine times out of 10, they get respect just off the physique. You're not gonna di get disrespected as much because they're gonna look at you and be like, okay, he, he's a serious man, he takes his life serious. If they see you and you some fat, sloppy, stank dude, they're not gonna respect you because you don't respect yourself. So that's a ma major thing, man. If you want respect from people, respect yourself first. If you want people to care about you, care about yourself first. Because a lot of y'all don't deserve respect. If we're being completely honest, you don't deserve respect. You don't deserve a loving relationship with a woman. Y'all not in touch with reality, man. Y'all don't know how your brain works. And I didn't know how my brain worked for a long time. You know, our brain is still operating the same way it was 200, 300 years ago. We always want to stay in comfort. We always want to stay in comfort. We're not ready for all this technology because 200, 300 years ago, eating as much as you could was a good thing because you don't know the next time you're going to eat. You know, staying in comfort was a good thing because you don't know when you had to go hunt. You don't know what the weather was gonna be like. You had to rest as much as you could. But today we know, you know you can eat whenever you want to. But you still decide to indulge in the foods that are not healthy for you, overindulge. Because in our body, so realize, maybe you're not lazy. Realize you just have to reprogram your brain. You have to start paying attention to what you're doing. Because a lot of, we do a lot of things that we're not even thinking about it. It just became part of your life. It just became part of your routine. It just became a pattern that you just follow all the time and you never questioned it. Start questioning why you do everything that you do. If you're not working out, what are you doing instead? You playing that video game? You whacking your meat? You smoking weed with your buddies? You drinking? Because... I can tell y'all right now, you put me by the most 22 year olds, there's huge differences. There's huge differences because they didn't do no self work. They chasing dopamine, they chasing pleasure. Don't do that because you might be cool right now, but in 10, 20, 30, 40 years, you will suffer. Pain and pleasure is a part of life. And if you choose in pleasure now, the pain gonna come on the back end. But if you choose pain right now, you gonna have a life full of reward, accomplishment, and it's gonna be worth it. I never went to the gym and regretted it. I never went to the gym and regretted it. So remember, man, get your body right, man, because it's gonna change how people treat you and once those people start treating you differently you're gonna start treating yourself differently you're gonna start thinking of yourself higher because it's hard to be confident when you're fat and sloppy because me man i can drive any car i can wear any clothes and i still have confidence because i know what's up here and i know what my body looks like your gut health is connected to your to your brain so you gotta take care of your gut. You gotta take care of your whole body. 
and it's going to reflect the way you feel, you, your energy. You can't you can't perform at a high level. Look at yourself as an athlete. I'm telling y'all, man, if you want respect from others, if you want people to look up to you, you got to get your body right. You can't lead anyone until you lead yourself. And even if it if it's more physical for you, if you just want to do it for the girls, which a lot of dudes do it for that, uh, cool. You know, for me, it was deeper than that. But if you're just working out for girls, like, that's still a huge part. If you want to get your dream girl, if you want to have a rotation, if you want to, whatever you want to do, man, being in shape is just going to help. And it's going to help you in the bedroom, too. Because I always said it, man, if you were super overweight, you're not putting it down in the bedroom. You're not. Because you ain't got the proper blood flow. You ain't got the fl flexibility. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you're trying to show a girl she with something that she ain't never seen before, you might have to be a little flexible. You feel me? And you just don't have that cardio. Don't no girl want some fat, sloppy dude sweating on her? Just think about it, man. Y'all gotta get real with yourself, man. You gotta get real with yourself, man. And don't get stuck on the, oh, I'm out of shape, or oh, I'm too skinny. Just think about the first step. Focus on what you gotta do next. Start writing out the day before what you're gonna do the next day. Start putting your clothes out in the morning. Make it easy to accomplish your goals. I'm gonna keep it short with y'all today. That's all I got for y'all, man. But I'm telling y'all, every man should work out, man. Is you, is you really a man if you ain't working out? Let's keep it real. You ain't gonna get the respect. You still look like a boy, so yeah. Y'all make sure to like the video. Let me know what y'all want to see next. Yeah, I'm out.